Hi everyone, welcome back to our Codoshop YouTube channel. In today's video, we are diving into the inventory automatic reordering rules in Auto 17. I will show you step by step how to set up reordering rules that automatically keep your inventory at optimal levels, so you can focus on growing your business instead of worrying about stockouts. So let's jump in and get those shelves perfectly stocked. So first I want to show you the existing reordering rules. You can find them in the inventory module. Under the subheading configuration, we can see reordering rules. These are the reordering rules that we have already set up. You can see the basic fields according to these rules like product, location, forecast, min max quantity, but here you can add more options you need. Just check the box and the additional field will be added. Now let's create a new rule. We will set it to the product laptop charger. I will set the minimum quantity to 15 and the maximum quantity to 30. You also need to know that in order to generate an automated request for quotation, you need to set up a default vendor. Only then can a reorder rule be triggered when the forecast quantity falls below the minimum. So let's dive into our product. We need to make sure that we have set up the correct vendor. Under the purchase tab, you can see the vendor, the price of the product, and the delivery lead time. Okay, so our reorder rule is created. By clicking this button, you can dive into it. Since I only have 10 units in stock, the reorder rule will automatically generate a request for quotation for the maximum quantity minus the forecast quantity. So that would be 30 minus 10, which is 20. So we are going to reorder 20 laptop charges. Okay, so with the reorder rules all set up, let's go ahead and trigger it. I can do that with this button or I can run a scheduler. This is an order once button that manually triggers a reorder rule. The scheduler checks for updated product quantities and activates any reorder rules that run once a day by default. Since I have just created this reorder rule, we need to run a scheduler manually to activate it right now. Otherwise, it would be activated when the reordering rules run automatically tomorrow. For that, we need to enable the developer mode. You can do this in the general settings. Just scroll down and enable it. Now let's go to the inventory module and on the operations tab, you will find the scheduler action. Just click on it and press run scheduler. Okay, now we can go to the purchase application to confirm the purchase order. Or we can do it right here. Let's find our order rule and click on this graph button. This is the forecasted reports chart. We can open the link purchase right here. So let's confirm it. And the last thing we need to do is to validate our receipt. So during the initial setup to trigger order rules, we can use the method I just showed you. But as we continue to use it, the scheduler will trigger order rules every time we confirm a sales or purchase order. So this is how it works in Odoo. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Thank you for watching.